I think it's viable. Let's see how it does. Alright. I think the level is okay. There we go. But, yeah, I'm not too greedy about getting Jean C1 yet though, but of course I'd love to get her all the way to C6 one day, but C1 and C2 both seem like really good constellations that I'd love to get. Just, uh, let's just be happy enough that the Gacha Gods decided to reward me with just one Okay. Alright, we need that shield. Oh wow, the Electro guys charge up their ult much faster than the other ones. They charge up really quickly. I was not expecting that. Okay. Target that, good. That actually landed. I was a little worried that I might have been too far away from the Geo Bishop to actually hit him. Right. Go ahead and hug this way. Okay. Right, let's just get rid of this guy first. It's gonna be a headache if I just let him live. Okay. There we go. Let's see how half two goes. So here, and then, we're using yellow. Uh, and uh, here... Got her burst up, and use yellow for her E. Then her burst. Now right in Shogun's burst. Okay, nice. Well, that shows just how damn powerful the Raiden National team is, even when using Yellon. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That was uh, pretty uneventful when it comes to the, the Raiden National team doing. Now, this could be a bit of a pain, but let's see how it goes. At some point, we'll get a character like Bennett or Goro, but for HP. Ooh, I'm sure we will at some point. Question is when. But yeah, that's another thing about Yellan, though, how she makes it so that you really don't want Bennett on the same team as her in terms of buffing her anyway. If Bennett's on the same team, it's because Bennett's buffing someone else, but he can't do Jack for Yellan's own personal damage. So, it's not a nerf of Bennett per se, but it's a way of making it so that Bennett's just not automatically always the only pop support buffer for every character. A character with HP scaling, yeah! And it, yeah, I definitely think that's a good thing, being a little bit more creative about all that, so that we're not just always only looking for attack, crit, crit, right? Okay. Like something like that, that would be interesting. 
what uh, another buffer like uh, Bennett or yeah or Goro but just for a different stat like HP. I yeah I think I'd really like that and it would definitely help yeah keep things fresh when it comes to building characters. Oh shit. Oh wow. Raiden Shogun almost died. But being inside Bennett's circle was enough to save her. Save her. Oh shit. Okay. okay, this should I frame through his attack. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, we need that for the healing. Okay, good. Alright, well, I got hurt at the end, but we did manage a 3 star here. That's pretty nice. So, already, yeah, we have Yelan contributing to a team with. that's 3 starring Chambers in the Abyss, which is pretty nice. Of Sucrose for Yem. Yeah, that, that is true, we do. And I think. Kazuha, doesn't the way he works be like he converts EM into elemental damage bonus or something? Which isn't quite the same thing, but it's oh, its own kind of niche of using EM for something else. So, but yeah, we have something for de defense. We have a couple for it. We have multiple for attack, really. We don't have any for HP from what I can tell though, so that could be next one next big thing they can add. Good. Nice. You need C2 on Kazuo if you want him to buff EM. Oh yeah? So I know for EM anyway, yeah, on C2 he gives like a free 200 EM or something like that, but I meant to be part where he gives a elemental damage bonus, which I think is the thing he does. Okay, good. That healing for Raiden. Okay. Get the burst ready. Hit before he splits. Nice. Yeah, he's gonna split. We're making good time. This Raiden right national team's really just so busted. Even with Yellon instead of Ching Chu, it's uh, managing quite well. And I say even, even though I think Yellon's actually arguably stronger. Because I am, just don't have experience playing as Yelan. So my performance with it is just not going to be as good. So it's mainly that rather than any sort of actual weakness that Yelan has. Okay, this is just Mono Electro here, but I should be able to do plenty of damage. Okay. Right, we're gonna wait until it goes into the transformation phase because you know it's going to. Like so, and so, and so. There we go. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I wasn't actually expecting to three star it like every single chamber first try like that. I thought I'd have a little more trouble because Yelan can be a little bit. More difficult to use than Ching Chu, but hey, she's also really, really strong. But you can see this is my yellow, not that great. ER needs to be, it doesn't need to be, but some of that, trading some of that ER for more crit, I think would be worth it. So I might fiddle around with her artifacts a little bit to get that working. 
but yeah, it's this is not a particularly impressive Yelan, but she was easily able to contribute to a team that 36 star the abyss. And also Yomiya too, of course, right? Yomiya who gets too much of a bad rap. 